If you're a chicken dancer out there who wants to show their stuff and uh, be able to win a title in Blackfoot country, this is the place to be. To have an event on the reserve like this, it's really special to us because we feel that, you know, not only do we get to showcase our sense of pride, our sense of who we are, but, you know, it brings everybody together. I try to dance every weekend. I love to dance. I, I honestly love to dance. It's all about having fun. We've come every year and we've been lucky to place every year. For me, I've been dancing for 42 years and it brings me back to life. It lifts your spirit inside. This is the World Chicken Dance, and this was mostly made to, you know, put chicken dance out there. And, you know, it's really amazing because you see all these families and these children, and they're all supporting one another, and, you know, I think that's what the greatest part of the whole thing is. It's a social dance, and it stems from uh, the, the prairie chicken, the actual prairie chicken that is uh, in southern Alberta. And in spring, the male wants to mate they do a dance, they, they ruffle their feathers, they dance in front of the females and try to win them over. Um, and, they, and that's what you see today, it, it is a male dance. And the dancers, they come out with their best outfits, their best feathers, the best beadwork, and the colors are amazing, and, and they dance. It makes, me feel, it makes me feel really good, it makes me real proud that I can continue wearing um, this awesome beadwork. You know, and to be the second generation to wear it. Sharing it with everyone else and having this outfit out there on the dance floor to keep dancing. If we didn't have drummers, there'd be no ceremonies, no powwows, no uh, spiritual songs because they're the ones that bring the songs and they're the ones that start our celebration. So the drummers play a major key role in our culture and if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't have celebration. You think to yourself, it's you against the drum. You know, the drum is the one who's either going to make you or they're going to break you. Well, it's really good to see the chicken dance alive and uh, to see it at this level where we're getting a lot of notoriety. Um, and it's good to see the chicken dance, you know, start with the young kids because uh, they're able to teach their kids when they get older. It's one of the most popular dances um, in North America at the powwow. And so when you see it, it's very exciting. There's so many competitors and the songs are fast. So yeah, it's great to see it in this setting. It's so important to us because we almost lost the chicken dance. So now to have it, you know, in full swing and, you know, really out there now for the world to see, it's really exciting. And, you know, Sixaga being the home of the World Chicken Dance Contest is really exciting too because it puts Sixaga on the map. You know, we're very proud to be the Sixaga Nation, very proud to be the Blackfoot people. And we want to share that with the world.